Welcome to Blue and White Night here at Hammond Baptist High School. This is our fifth event of the night. We started with our junior high, junior varsity, junior high varsity, and then high school JV, then volleyball JV, and then volleyball varsity. I think that, that's even more than five. I'm not even sure we're here. It is 7.37, and we are ready to watch our varsity blue and white game. Here we go, in blue we have Trent Worship, Jaden Lemon, Josh Perez, Craig Sisson, and Owen Coffey. And in white, Tommy Flores, Joe Cowling, Brian Stowmeister, Tyler Huckins, and Judson Wilkerson. My name is John Woosley, and I'm here joined in the booth by Mr. Josh Conger. Yeah, Josh, what, what are you expecting here? What are you expecting here tonight? You know, you I'm expecting, expecting high intensity. I'm expecting grit. I'm expecting defense. John, I think that our team is just notable for the for years now for just defense. Solid, aggressive, well-coached defense. So I expect that. We'll see offensively. You know, guys could be streaky. I expect Joey Cowling to be hot. I expect uh, Brian Stoltmeister, Owen Coffey, some of these guys to just be rolling, you know, yep. with the shots they're used yep. to taking. So... I'm excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the juniors. John stepping up on this varsity level. Yeah. We've got Trenton Worship, Jaden Lemon, uh, Judson Wilkerson out yeah. there tonight as juniors. juniors. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see how they step into these roles. See if, uh, man, Judson Wilkerson rips it away. Yeah. And here comes the white with Josh Kennedy on the bench, also a junior. And then um, on the bench, also a sophomore, Elijah Guzman may be getting a couple minutes tonight. And here we go. Here's Joe Cowling. Wheeling and dealing, kicks out Brian Stoltmeister, who's got a oh. nice shot from deep. And here comes Trent Worship with the left hand. Going to find his way to the hole, and he, I thought he got fouled I there. I thought he honestly. got fouled too, John. It's but funny we both comes, saw the same thing. Here comes the white team. And Josh Perez guarding Joe Cowling, and that's going to be the matchup to watch all night. Josh Perez, probably the best defender on the team, and Joe Cowling, and there's the best Brian offense Stoltmeister. Good rebound by Jaden Lemon, ripped it down. And Jaden's got to bring that force this year. He does. As a, as a junior now, getting some minutes last year as a sophomore, but as a junior, needs to step into a leadership role and, and really play aggressive. That's got to be his, yeah. his bread and butter there. Joe Cowling almost, almost took out Judson there. Yeah. He had decided where he was going, telling Judson, get out of my way. <laughs> yeah. Here's Tommy Flores finding Brian Stoltmeister out to Tyler Huckins. And Joe yeah. the pass to Tyler on the wing, and good cut there from Judson Wilkerson. Ball's back up to Joe Cowling. No shot clock here in the high school game, so you can hold the ball for as long as you want without getting that five-second call. Blocked. Blocked by Owen Coffey. Wow. That's a bear claw swinging in the air, <laughs> packing that ball away, and the ball goes right back to Owen Coffey. He's looking to drive baseline. Tommy Flores there with the stop. Wow. Good D by Tommy Flores. To oh, Trenton's pulling that up. Yes, Trent sir, worship. all day long. Four, that's your boy right there. Trenton, you should know I believed in you when you shot that, and the second <laughs> it went in, I had no doubt. I knew it. Trent, good shot. And Trent's got to shoot that John when he's open. When he gets space, yeah. that's got to be money. It's got to be a green light for him to let go of that ball and put it in the hoop. Absolutely. Here's Brian Stomeister across to Judson. Tyler Huckins baseline, there's Joe for three. And Good around the rim and out. out. Judson, though, with the scrappy oh, rebound. Wow. Judson puts it back up for two. Big board there for Judson. And that, that's, Josh, a way you can get your offense going. Yes. It's just by kind of making those scrappy plays going back and forth. Especially a guy like Judson, man, to get your first bucket or two just hustling for it, to make that three feel much better later. Yeah, Judson's one to watch, John. He's one of those juniors that needs to step up. You know, next year, him, Jaden, Trenton, those guys will be leading this team, and they need to step into these roles and and really improve. Yeah. You know, and it starts now, and it seems like he's come off to a good start here. Yeah. And I think the game, especially in the blue-white game, in the first couple of games in the season, you just got to simplify the game. Take simple shots. Don't try to do too much. As Josh Perez catches the inbound, he looks stuck there, John. <laughs> had nowhere to go. <laughs> he should have just shot it. He was open. Yeah. There he is in the corner, guarded closely Pull by that Joe up, Trent. Cowling. Trent to Jaden Lemon, top of the key, finds Josh Perez off his foot, nearly stolen away. Good defense by Joe Cowling. Craig Sisson into Owen Coffey. Good D. Again, Judson Wilkerson making Man, things happen. He's everywhere. Feisty nice player, pass. and here's Tyler Huckins. Right to Finds Brian, Brian Stoutmeister, who finishes at the other end for two. A nice play there by Tyler and Brian working together, moving the ball. Nice little offense three. there. And really, that play by Judson, getting that pass forward, a yeah. forward pass instead Ooh. of a backward pass is nice to start that break. Oh, good pivot foot. 
There's Trent again in the corner, guarded by senior Tommy Flores. Jaden driving left, puts it up with the right hand, and just can't can't get it to go. It's good to see Jaden attacking. And Jaden, ever since he's been in sixth grade, the, the push to him has been just drive to the hole. He's yeah. long, he's, he's quick, he's athletic, he can reach to the rim almost. Mm -hmm. The guy can dunk now, so I mean, he's, he's got to be attacking the rim. He's yeah. a good shooter too, but driving to the rim is always going to be his easiest basket. Man, don't leave Brian Stoltmeister oh. open. Nearly buried that one. Tyler Huckins there for the board, can't get it to go. Owen Coffey with, with the rebound. I love watching Tyler Huckins grab rebounds and take charges. Tyler Huckins, when he grabs rebounds. Trent Worship for three. An, oh, oh, Trent. Who is right there? Joe Cowling. Man, I Here believe we go, in that going one the other too. way. Kicks it into another gear. Kick nice out. look. Judson, hesitation, spin back to Joe Cowling. Between the legs, behind the back, crossing over, spinning. Far side, Brian Stomeister. Right in front of the guest bench, Judson can't connect on a three rebound. Trent Worship. Judson looking for a shot there, and I think he realized he was wide open on the last play. Knew he missed one, and yeah. so he, he really wanted to make up for it there as Jaden was wide open on that back was. Jaden driving in. Craig Sisson pulling that trigger. Joe Cowling now on the attack for the team in white. Again, all these guys are swordsmen. Joe Cowling can't get the call. That's Owen Coffey up to Josh Perez in the corner. He'll spot up for three. Kick it up to Owen Coffey. Top of the key, the big man going between oh. the legs. Loses it, and here comes Tyler Huckins. And Good hustle. Owen Coffey Owen hustle Coffey. play. One more. There nice it is. Pass. Ooh. Ooh. Careful. This is not a game you want to see people get hurt for sure. Yeah. The intensity is always there, though. Owen trying to make up for a bad play there, and we hope Brian's all right. He's walking it Ooh. off. It's a little pain there. Yeah. Been there, John. Never, oh, never man. fun when someone of Owen's size lands on you. Yeah. Owen's a tough player. It's <laughs> a lot of muscle weight there. That'll hurt. Yeah, Owen came in for the block. He swiped at it, nearly got it, Josh. I thought he was going to swat that. I thought so, too. And he just landed right on top of Brian. Instant replay. Yeah, I wish we had that. That'd be nice. Uh, Brian's going to get rewarded here, though. Hopefully he can make good on it and get two, uh, two free throws here. Yeah. Coach Woosley nice. was on the floor checking up on him. Thought about yeah. taking a shot or two. Didn't. <laughs> he didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. How good of a shooter he is. Went back to the bench. Brian uh, misses the first... He's going to get one more. And Josh Kennedy now, number 54, checking in for number 51, Tommy Flores. And Elijah Guzman, the sophomore, number two, checking in for Trenton Worship. Elijah Guzman, a, a nice player we saw in the last game. Yep. And someone that's really going to step into a, a point guard, maybe a two-guard role here on this varsity team in tournaments and maybe sub in some games. As a yep. sophomore, that's good experience to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Again, thanks for watching here. Ham Baptist Athletics on Facebook. Ham Baptist Schools on on YouTube. We are we are excited to get our basketball season going. Yeah. And hopefully if you're watching, you're excited about it too. We have our next home game on Friday, November 5th. We'll have junior wow. high games right after school against Calumet. Owen Coffey, monster Physical take. rebounds. Oh, he's got to put one of those three in. That was good driving by Owen. I like that aggression out of Owen. Boy, just to do that power dribble and go right to the rim. Owen's got to do a lot of that this season. As Joe Cowling fade away from the corner, right on the rim, and JK47, Josh Kennedy, over the bat. Elijah Guzman, good box out there to get that call going his way. And Elijah's a, he's a smart player, John, and even when I had him in sixth grade, yeah. he just can see the floor really well against bigger defense and, and even smaller guys. He's, he can quick, he's quicker than guys and smarter than guys a lot of times, too, out there. And now he's stronger than a lot of guys. He's, he's yeah. put a lot of work in the offseason to yeah, make his is. body more like a tank and less like a human. <laughs> that's, that's fun to watch. As oh. Jaden gets a nice drive to the rim. Wow. Good touch there from Jaden Lemon. Just under a minute to go. Again, as I was saying, Josh, our next home game on Friday, junior high, two teams will play Calumet and then Heritage Christian from Dyer is coming over and we're playing them JV and varsity levels. Um, but then for the first time, we're offering season passes this year. If you're interested in getting a season pass, then those will be available on Friday, you can purchase those. The admission price for our games this season will be five, five dollars for adults, oh. and that is a oh, that's a block, boy. And the reason that's a block, John, at the very last second, Elijah Guzman 
That was smart. He twisted off to the right. And if he would have hit him straight on, the ref was about to call that a charge. That would have been a charge. Tyler was in good position. Tough call. But Elijah, man, that was smooth. He just slid to the right a little bit, and it was enough to get the ref to go from charge to block. That was tough. And that's going to be two tough. shots. Boy, and Tyler Hawkins taking those charges, John. Man. If you remember last year, yeah. that, that was insane. He had like three charges in the span <laughs> of like two minutes. But he is willing to sacrifice it. You know, it just, boy, a team player at heart, yeah. Tyler Hawkins. And that guy... Not like he couldn't block the shot. He just chooses to sacrifice his body and, and get the call uh, a lot of times. Yeah. Elijah Guzman off the left. Oh, Jaden Lemon with a big rebound. And there's his first two points of the game. And probably, Josh, the main source of offense that this blue team is going to have to have between Jaden and Owen. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going to have to put up some points for this blue team. Joe Cowan kicking out. Judson thought about it. He's going to give it up to Brian. Joe Cowan throws it up. Oh! oh. Just off the front of the rim. Brian did not know the clock was about to run yeah. out there. Yeah, we'll be back in, in just a minute for the second quarter of play. All right, here we are back for our second quarter, eight to five. Again, this is Blue and White Night here at Hammond Baptist. And yeah, we've split our teams two ways here. Half are blue, half are white as Brian Stomeister takes that three and pops that three. Good take from Brian Stomeister, and he can stroke that shot, John, and we've seen it a little bit last year and this year in the beginning. Yeah. We've seen him in open gyms. That guy can shoot the ball. It's gonna be exciting this year. He's gonna have to do that with no space. You know, they're yeah. gonna track him, but yeah. he's a good shooter. Yeah, you know, Brian, Brian's been in the gym. He's one of those guys we talked about earlier in a couple other teams, you know, hitting the gym, hitting the weight yes. room. But Brian, he, he's gotten a lot stronger. I don't know. You, you can tell he's definitely thickened up a little bit. But, Brian, he, that is something that, for one, injury prevention. Yep. For two, because he's going to have some solid defenders on him being a threat from the outside. As Joe Cowling goes to work here and can't get the roll, Owen Coffey with, with the rebound. Owen, the big man, six. Two, I would say, Josh. Six, six five, round up. <laughs> six two. That's how we do it here at Hammond Baptist. Kick out, Josh Perez and in the corner for over. three, <laughs> nails it. Josh Perez, not necessarily the guy you'd work to get a three shot, but he'll hit the open one if you make him. And Ooh. they made him their own. Coffee nearly came away with that. Oh man, good steal. Oh Tyler. Trenton, they got Trenton up there. If they can get it to him. Here we go, man. Owen Coffee bringing up the ball again. Josh looking for the three now. He wants it. And Josh can shoot. We saw last year at the end of the season, Josh started putting in those shots. Yeah. Even even tightly guarded shots he's putting in and has good touch around the rim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe not Josh, a shot that you know, the coach would tell him to take, but he took it and hit it yeah. multiple times last yeah. year. Good player. Josh, number one on blue, is kind of the, the defensive specialist. And probably, uh, I'm just looking at the players here. I, th I would say the best defensive player on the team. Maybe not the most skilled physically. But, man, he, he can lock down D. Very athletic, strong, wiry, quick. Um, and it's nice, Josh, to be able to set him at one task, just kind of point him in one direction, say, hey, we need to lock this guy down. Yeah. And Josh can certainly do that. Good defender. 
as his task tonight is one of the toughest ones he'll face all season, trying to D-up Joe Cowling. Yeah. Joe's been starting since, since he was a freshman, and I'm excited to watch what Joe can do this year. Oh, Brian's Judson. wide open. Didn't swing it to him. Boy, Judson had Brian on that, and that was the, the play was for Brian. Yeah. Pass that ball to him. Three-second call there on Tommy Flores, number 51. Tommy. Tommy knows better than that, too. Yeah, yeah but if you're going to learn any, any place, might as well be the, <laughs> the blue and white game. Yeah, and that's going to we happen. We'll give you one. We'll give you one for the season, yeah, Tommy. That's your one, Tom. That was it. Oof. Illegal screen. Some, some choppy play here. Boy, with an offensive three seconds, then an offensive screen. Yeah. No one wants to play offense, I guess. We're going to go back and play defense here on the blue side. Here we go. 11-8. Blue in the lead. One thing about Josh Perez's defense, I think he just overpowers guys mentally. I think just mentally he's not going to let you – if you beat him once, you're not going to beat him twice. You know, yeah. he'll just go back at you, and he never quits. And I like that yeah. about him. Oh. Nice And Joe fake. about got him there. Man, good shot by Joe, good move by Joe. Swings it out there to Tyler. And, oh, through his hands. Both teams, Josh, just kind of struggling to get a smooth offense running here. Yeah, and that's the blue-white game. John, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I just think that that's – I remember my blue-white game and probably yours as well, man. It, those are tough sometimes. You come ah, out for the first hey, time and you want to do everything except, in the one game. And, yeah. Except your, uh, except your junior high JV today. You guys had 25 points by this time. <laughs> We need to get Noah Carruthers back out here. Dude, Noah Put Carruthers points was on the board. rolling. Noah, oh, Jaden Lemon, nice three there. And Jaden's got a nice touch on that ball too. Yeah. You know, when Jaden misses, even if he misses, it's it's right on that rim. He's got good shooter's touch and good eye for that rim and makes a lot more than he misses. Joe going left right at Josh Perez. A little off balanced, and uh, Jaden Lemon's going to get that rebound. Jaden, John, I think, it needs to improve this year at rebounding. Oh, man. Whoa, that was – oh, my goodness. That was a pass, I assume, to Tommy Flores. Tommy Flores didn't know it was a pass to Tommy Flores. I don't, <laughs> I don't think either. Trent Worship, top of the key, swings it. Owen Coffey driving left, spin move, pump fake, and throws it up as he's falling down. Can't get it to go. Joe Cowling. Going to find Tyler Huckins underneath. Yes, and good he'll look. put it up for two. Good look there. And props to Tyler Huckins. You always like those big guys yeah. that run the floor. Man, yeah. those guys are valuable to a team, especially if they're willing to run that floor and – Tyler's one of those guys. Like we said earlier, he'll do anything for the team. Yeah. You know, if the team needed to run through a brick wall, he would do it. That guy is dedicated. And he's going to be a valuable Trent Worship piece. for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Yeah, Tyler rebound. Huckins near side. Tyler rebounding again. Driving with the right hand. Kicks out. Judson hesitates. Back to Joe Cowling. Puts up a 15-footer. Can't get it to go. Rips down the rebound. Fading away. Eight feet out. Puts there. it in. Joe Cowling. Nice pass in transition, then another bucket. Just kind of willing his team back in this one. 14-12. Coming up on halftime. Owen Coffey saves it right in front of the scores table. And then Tyler gets called for the foul. 14-12. On the court right now for the Swordsman. Josh, you want to give us, give us on the court? We got Jaden Lemon, 21, on the blue team, inbound on the ball. We got Owen Coffey, 33, on the blue team. Craig Sisson, number five. Trenton Worship, number 44. And Josh Perez, number one. As that pass gets picked off by Tyler Huckins, who's pushing the break right to Brian Stobmeister. And nice layup by Brian Stobmeister with the finger roll on the left side. Beautiful take there. Nice Brian heading up that pass. white team, number 12. And we got Joe Cowling, number 11, the best number in the world there on the white team. We got Judson Wilkerson, who just stole the ball. Flashing down the paint there. Oh, oh, he got swatted by Josh Perez. Josh Perez, that defensive killer out there. Brian Stomeiser for three, just short. Oh, we got Jaden Lemon with the Jayden rebound. Lemon pushing it up. Coming the other way. And the other Looking two guys on that white team, 24, Tyler Huckins, and uh, 51, Tommy Flores. Josh Perez to Jaden Lemon. Going to work against Joe Callen, the senior, out to Craig Sisson, who will try another three. And just short, big rebound. Owen Coffey kick out. Far side, Jaden Lemon can't connect. Blue team coming up with all the rebounds Oof. right now as they kick it out. Trent Worship rolling through the lane, can't ah. get it to go. And that'll be a foul on Trent. Trying to get his own rebound. Good play yeah. there, though, by a Trent. Good take, Trent. And Trent's good at – Trent's not going to beat you on the floor. But Trent will – he will mislead you in his step counts. If you saw that, that was like a mini Euro there. Yeah. You know, he kind of yeah. like one, two, hesitate, hesitate yeah. three, and then laid it in. And that was nice. And he got the shot off. Yeah. And he can really outsmart a lot of these 
quicker defenders and get shots off and score yeah. buckets. And Trent, man, he's a bucket. He's been a bucket since sixth grade. And that guy can put the ball in the basket, loves to shoot it, loves to score. And uh, we'll see what he does for this year for the Swordsman. Brian Stoltmeister, short on the three. Good fight. Josh Kennedy is there for the rebound. And that'll stay. Uh, go the other way. Man, Blue I ball going the other way. Under 30 seconds to go here in the first half of play here for the Swordsman Blue and White game. Jaden Lemon now switching on to the point guard spot here for the blue team. Him and Elijah Guzman will be the guards. We got, what, 13 seconds left here in this quarter. Right before halftime, Jaden Lemon attacking the paint, as he should do, and floats that ball right in the hoop. We got six seconds here. Justin's got to go. Three, two, one. Joe Callen fading away, oh. throws it up just off the front of the rim. And we end the half 14-16. We'll see you back in a few minutes for our second half of play.
Welcome back to our second half of play. In our varsity blue and white matchup. This is blue and white night here at Hammond Baptist. And we've had games starting at 3.30, then 4.30, 5.30, volleyball at 6.30. And now here we are with our varsity squad split up and playing each other. Blue versus white. Right now, blue is in the lead. On the blue team, Jaden Lemon, Josh Perez. Joe Cowling with a nice three. Wow. Owen Coffey, Craig Sisson, and Trent Worship. And then in white, Joe Cowling, Judson Brokerson, Brian Stobmeister, Tommy Flores, and Tyler Huckins. My name is John Woosley. Thanks for joining us, watching here on Facebook or YouTube. And I'm joined here in the booth by Mr. Josh Conger as Tyler Huckins gets a nice block. Oh, man. That was a good block. Wow. Owen Coffey oh, tracked that He's got down Trenton way up traffic. there. Didn't want to hit him. Man, Trenton was wide. Trenton didn't want to run back on defense, and then ended up being wide open on the next offensive break. <laughs> oh, Trenton. Master's <laughs> level brain right there. <laughs> he's like, I'm thinking ahead, guys. You guys are all come back here. <laughs> yeah, I'm we'll actually right ahead here. of the next play. <laughs> Josh Perez oh, good nearly defense. stripped away by Joe Cowling. And Joe Cowling doesn't get enough credit as a defender. I mean, that he, he's a very good defensive player as well. You know, he gets a lot of credit for his offense, but his defense is there as well. As Josh Perez takes a three, Owen Coffey a big rebound. Man, he had good position there before the ball Boy, was even shot. The tank is back. Last year, man, he's just bodying guys. And this year, big bad senior, he's throwing that muscle around and getting those rebounds. It's nice going to be fun player. to watch this season. Yeah, absolutely. One, one senior on the bench this evening, Dwayne Wilkerson. And this is his, his second year in Hammond Baptist, and we're excited to have him a part of the team. He hurt his knee, Josh, Yeah. Um, playing open gym on Saturday. So just tweaked it. Nothing serious, nothing major, but just oh, giving it a rest for our blue and white Hawkins. game. But I, I'm going to be excited to watch him, yeah. see how he fits in to our, to our offense, to our team. Trent Worship, top of the key. Guarded closely by Tommy Flores, looking for options. Finds a cutting Craig Sisson, poked away by Brian Stoltmeister. Loose ball. Owen Coffey comes up with it, blocked oh. by Tyler Huckins. And he's going to get called for the foul as Owen heads to the line 4-2. Man, Tyler Huckins and Owen Coffey, I think they're matched up tonight. But throughout the season, those two guys are going to be driving this team. They're the motors. Down there in the paint, they anchor us defensively, and they get a lot of rebounds put back offensively as Owen Coffey makes the first of, of two shots. But those guys are going to be huge. Their effort and intensity every game is going to, a lot of times, determine how we start games and how we close games. And yeah. Those guys are going to be big this season. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice when they're not guarding each other. Right. John, I'd like it better when they're on the same team. 100%. Oh, good rebound, Tyler Huckins. Here comes Joe Cowling on the attack for the He's team in white. Flies right past everyone, puts Oof. it up. Soft off the top of the glass. Yeah. And it falls in. Full sprint all the way to the hoop, too, John. And I'm I think the ball touched the tippy top of the backboard there. Yeah, <laughs> it just yeah it was knocked nice it right soft in. touch. Oh, good team. Beautiful finish there. Stolen away. And give it right back. Craig Sisson comes up with it into the hands of Owen Coffey. Owen Coffey back to Craig Sisson near side. Cross court to Josh Perez. Top of the key now, Jaden Lemon slips right through his hands. Right to Craig. Skip pass over to Trent Worship. Slicing through, nice beautiful pass. bounce pass. Can't quite handle it as Blue turns it over. And here comes White, Judson Wilkerson bringing it across the half court right in front of the home bench. And Tyler Huckins, that'll be a travel. And we'll go the other way. Thought about that three, though. He did. He And Tyler can hit that three. He can. Now, it's not a run play. No one's setting up an offense to get Tyler Huckins the three. But if he gets it and he's wide open, he will hit it. Yeah, Tyler's got a good shot. 22-19. 4.13 left in the third quarter. Again, in case you didn't hear earlier, our next home game is this Friday as Owen Coffey comes away with the rebound. He'll pull up and put it in, bringing blue within one. Junior high will start right after school, 4 o'clock, 3.30 maybe, against Calumet Christian. Both levels of junior high playing Calumet Christian and then Heritage Christian as Tyler Huckins gets up high and puts it in. And then Heritage Christian on Friday will come over and play our JV and varsity teams at 5.30 and 7. So I hope you can make it out for that or join us here on the live stream. We'll be broadcasting all these games Money. here on Facebook and 
on YouTube. Trenton Worship took that three, almost hit it. He's right on on all those shots, John. He's just, boy, so close. Got good touch on the ball, though. Yeah, he does. This will be the first year we offer season passes. So um, season passes, if that's something that you're interested in, for the first time we'll have them at the door on Friday for $30. That, you'll, that will get you in. Joe Cowling from deep pulls wow. it and connects. That was a white line three there from Joey Cowling. Excellent shot. And Joey, yeah. since he's been in second grade, has looked for that shot. He is looking for a shot, three, four, five point, doesn't matter. He'll, he'll take the shot from wherever on the floor <laughs> if he's got space, and he should. He's a good shooter, been shooting a long time, and he's been consistent. Big move by wow. Owen Coffey. Man, wow. the tank strikes again, this guy. That was a nice, that was some good footwork, yeah. pump fake, spin, that was, that was nice. And John, that's one thing Owen, has need that that's the one thing that would make him a real good player from last year was if that footwork was just a little bit better, a little yeah. cleaner. That, and this, that for, was, so far this game, his footwork has looked good. Yeah. Owen's grown a couple inches, put yeah. on a few pounds, real nice. strong, solid, and really I think even with all that being said, I think he's gotten quicker, faster. Yeah, there you go. And blocked oh, wow. off the backboard and he's oh, gonna get caught for the foul. A foul there. My goodness. Looks like his dad, Jack Huckins, flying out of the air there, swatting <laughs> that ball. My goodness. Back in the day, Jack Huckins was a baller. Josh Perez now at the line for 227-23 as he sinks to first. Season passes, as I was saying there a minute ago, Josh, season passes would be available for the first time. We're offering those season passes. Get a card at the door like a, you know, like a discount card, like a credit card there at the door. And you'll be able to use that all season. Just show the girls when you come to the game, don't have to pay for the rest of the season. Just a one-time $30 uh, cost. Yep. But the admission for adults is going to $5 this year. And for visiting students, it'll be $3. So if that season pass is something you're interested in, you can come Friday ready to do that. We'll have um, you pay with cash, obviously, or Joe Cowling for three. Just long. Uh, or we're, we're taking accepting card payments now at the door. Ooh. Man, Owen's fun. That way. He is fun, man. He is getting to that rim easy. Yeah. That's Josh, nice. we said at the beginning of the game, Jaden Lemon, Owen Coffey, the main sources of offense. And right now, Owen Coffey is really just being the engine for the offense of this blue team. And, man, wow, sparking and the it defense. on defense. Here we go. He's Owen got Craig Coffey. ahead. He's got Craig up there, if you can see it. Oh, nice save by Josh Perez. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, and Craig Sisson, the reverse. Craig. Flip. Looking good and out there, Josh, man. Josh, the blue team, has just taken the lead. I, and I, really, I Owen Coffey has ripped it right away from this yeah. white team. It's funny. Owen Coffey has been really the main engine on this team. Jaden's brought some offense. Josh Perez brought some defense. But yeah. Owen's done both things, both directions. I he mean, has. he's playing some good basketball right now. Is Joe Callen with a fadeaway and a nice roll. Gets that ball to go in. Joe Callen looks hot right now. 29-29. Has he missed? But like two shots this whole game, Joe Calling's looking solid. Josh Perez bringing it up for the blue team. Joe Calling guarding him. The handoff to Jaden Lemon. Jaden Lemon looking to attack. Swings to Elijah Guzman. Elijah Guzman gets in the paint. Goes up. Looks like he got hit. Oh, and he's not going to get and the call And they're not going to give him that call. They're like, yeah, this quarter's over, son. You're a sophomore. <laughs> Take a seat. And I, he was obviously hit on that play. But in a regular game, they'd probably give that to him. Locked in at 29. Boy, we'll be good back game. here in just a minute or two to start the fourth quarter.
Here we go, starting our fourth quarter. 29-29. Again, all swordsmen on the court. This is blue and white night here at Hammond Baptist, so all swordsmen on the court. On blue is Josh Perez, who just airballed a three. Jaden Lemon, Trent Worship, Owen Coffey, and Elijah Guzman. And then on the white team, Brian Stoutmeister about to inbound the ball. Joe Cowling, Judson Wilkerson, Josh Kennedy, and Tyler Huckins. I'm disappointed that Josh Kennedy did not find the number 47 to wear because I just love calling him JK47 in junior <laughs> high. And he just, then he just switched it up, started wearing 54. Come on, Josh. Help He's us killing out here, me. Man. I know. Get back to the 47. Here we go. I love it. Joe Cowling, nice handoff there. A little bobble. Looks like he's still controlling the ball. Oh, a tough pass. Trying to go to Tyler Huggins. But Owen Coffey, there he is again. Flying out of nowhere like a thief in the night. Oh, Gets hit. Man. Wow. Good and take he, by Owen. He, he just runs that floor so well too, John. Just gets up and down. and yeah. The he, built the way he is and still getting up and down, that's that's just great. Yeah. Shooting two here. Yeah, Tyler Huggins right on his back the yeah. whole time. And oh, you can yeah. feel it, you know. Smart play there by Owen Coffey, the senior. Big man, number 33. Yep. Now at the line, shooting two. Locked in at 29. Clock counting down from 6 Ooh. 40. John, always we want people in this building watching these games. It's electric in here, and my goodness, if you can get to see Swordsman basketball, get in here and watch it. Uh, the, the Swordsman work hard. They're a team worth watching. But if you cannot, you can watch it online. Yep. John, how do they do yep. that? Yeah, you can go on Facebook, which probably already are. Makes sense. And watch there at <laughs> Ham Baptist Athletics. Or you can find us on YouTube as well if that's easier, which I know, Josh, sometimes it's easier to pull up YouTube on your phone. Yeah. Or on, or I'm on a your, YouTube, on I'm your a YouTube smart guy. TV. Yeah. yeah. So um, you can find us on YouTube live as well at Ham Baptist Schools. And we're live there. And love just bringing the game to you. Just broadcasting here from Ham Baptist. Shoot that. Trent Worship for three, just short. Oh. Owen Coffey. Man, Owen. Putting in. The work down low. Owen Coffey getting rewarded. Dude, just Man, ripped hustling. that ball. Ripped that ball. I don't know who had it on the white team, but they didn't have it for long. Owen just ripped it right out of their hands, went straight yeah. up with it. 33-29. Blue is in the lead right now. And Josh, really, I was asked before the game who do I, who I thought was going to win. And I, I took white, and I said it wasn't going to be close. Wow. Because of Joe and Brian? I, I, I just thought they had... I thought Joe's leadership. Tyler's well. Tyler, Brian shooting, will, will, would take him through. Jaden Lennon. Wow, with man, a good the shot team there. team is proving me wrong right now. But, Josh, I think coming down the stretch, I think Joe's going to bring his team back in it. We got 36-29 right now. John, I think they'll bring it back go. in it. But I think that Owen Coffey, the engine that he's been this whole game, I, I don't think Owen's going to let his team lose. I keep thinking that at some point White's going to do this, come yeah. back here. But Owen has just said no there every time Joey's tried to stick a step in there. 32-36. Yeah, now I'm, I'm curious lead. on this game, John. If you had to say right now, you still think White's going to win this? I do. I think White's going to pull it out. Boy, but look at Owen Coffey go. That, okay, that was a terrible <laughs> example. But Owen all game has been great. Nah, he's, Joe Cowling is Joe. a veteran, though. He's been playing high school basketball on Hand Baptist all four of these years now as he pulls up from deep and knocks that down. That's two in a row. He's hot as fire, John. Another and you point. are probably going to be right. He's brought his team <laughs> back up to within one. It's now 35-36. This is something. Joe Cowling's putting on a show out there. And he, you can tell right now he knows that he's hot. And when Joe Cowling gets hot and he can feel it and he's stroking that shot, he's going to look for it. Elijah Guzman taking two power dribbles right into the paint. Owen Coffey driving baseline, trying to slice and dice. Goes up, gets hit twice, didn't call it. And on the third time, going up, Owen finishes for two points. And Owen Coffey, the bull that won't let his team get pulled away. He just keeps fighting, keep grinding. Got two more points. It's 38-35. Joe Callen's got his team down three to Owen Coffey's team here. Brian looking to drive left. Dishes out to Joe, and Joe for the third strike in a row. Boy, misses it, and Josh Kennedy tries to put it up in the air. Can't get it. The break belongs to Jaden Lemon, and he crosses Judson over, goes left. Ooh, nice move, but can't get the shot to go. We got a push foul on Blue. We got a white ball coming back down as Craig Sisson, number five, checks in for Blue, and Tyler Huckins will check in here for White, and he's number 24. So they're going in for uh, Josh Kennedy and Trent Worship to close out this game. 3.12 to go, 38-35, and John, right when he turned away there, Owen Coffey came back, got another bucket. Did he? Yeah. That crazy guy. Man, he's been a force this game. 
Josh and I, I hope it's not just a blue and white kind of thing. It won't be. I, I don't think it will be, John. I think that he's going to bring that effort, that intensity every game. That's who Owen Coffey is, and really that's who Joe is as well. Yeah. Tyler, Josh Perez, these guys, they work hard. And that's another reason, John, you should come watch Swords and Basketball. Have you yeah. never seen a game here? It's not as good on the screen. you got to get in the gym, <laughs> feel the energy, watch these guys play. There you go, Josh. Up close. These guys, right. these, they work hard. They deserve yeah. to be seen when they work hard. Yeah. You know, it's, it's great. This gym's got a, an electricity about it that's just unmatched. Yeah, yeah. It's, John, it's, are we doing the uh, Silent Night game this year? Man, we need to bring that back, don't we? You know, I thought about that the other day. We did that three years ago, and I thought, boy, are we doing that again? Yeah. Yeah, man, I, what I remember about that is I didn't tell the refs. <laughs> so, so <laughs> That's even that better then. Terrible. That's even if, better. If you're watching and you were there, a couple years ago we did a Silent Night where we instructed all of our fans, anyone who was here for Hammond Baptist, not to cheer make a noise until we scored. I think it was our seventh point. I think it was seven, it too. Was That's seven. what I'm thinking. We had the Christmas lights up, some Christmas music playing. And, man, on that seventh point, <laughs> oh, I forgot, dude. I put, I gave, it was like toilet seven paper. or eight. <laughs> not toilet paper. Those poppers, like the big oh, poppers, yeah. like, like the confetti popper <laughs> cannons. Yeah. And, dude, we scored the seventh point, and girls are going nuts. Dude, and then all of a sudden, I, dude, yeah, I'm serious. I remember we got on video. Uh, I was standing right over there, got on video, and they, like, seriously, and I don't, I don't blame them, and I feel bad about it because, like, you could see, like, little, like, terror on their <laughs> eyes. There were these cannons going off. All of a sudden, everybody erupted, and that was fun. Oh, that not for the great. refs, but for everyone else, probably. <laughs> it was probably great. They uh, probably, you know, I, Hey, if we do that again, you got, we got to tell the refs. They're time. probably grabbing tasers, like, we got to call this <laughs> game down. For real, seriously. The fans charging the floor. No, that was fun. That was a fun night. We got we got to bring that back. I would, that would be hard to do. So we got to be fun to make that happen, especially for these seniors this year. Oh yeah, make that happen for them. It'd be fun. Thirty-eight, thirty-five. Here, two forty left to go in this game. Last game, final game of the night. As the blue team is up by three, Owen Coffey has been just taking over here in the second half. He's the big man, number thirty-three for the blue team. Elijah Guzman top of the key over to Josh Perez, who just loses it. Right out of bounds, and it'll go the other way. White ball. If you're interested in some HB merch, got a HB merch store here. Go to Instagram. I'm wearing HB merch right and now. And then go to True Blue Sports, and that Josh is officially. You can go there and shop right now, but oh, you can't buy anything until Friday. Oh. Okay. So you can throw some things in your cart or check out the shop if you're interested in that. That's on uh, Instagram and True Blue Sports. Ooh. Brian stole my merch. Nice shot there. Jaden Lemon now on the attack. Dishes up to Elijah Guzman, who jumped and then shot, and that would be a travel. It would be going the other way, man. Josh, you know, if Blue could keep feeding Owen Coffey the ball, I think that could be their golden ticket. But instead, we're we're letting this white team back in the game. Yeah, and, John, it's a three-point game, and it's been a three-point game for the last few minutes. It seems like both teams are kind of just stagnant, and they need someone to make it happen. Maybe it'll be the next guy that shoots the ball. We'll see. Joe Callen is definitely over the shot. He's hot, and he knows it. Dish out. Brian, Brian keeps shooting Stomeister. that ball. And that, he needs to get Man, that in there. He is right on. Last one rattled in and out. Every shot. He's right on the rim. Here we go. Elijah Guzman setting up the offense top of the key near side to Craig Sisson. Back to Josh Perez, Owen Coffey, Ooh, looking for a place. cutting Elijah Guzman. Jane Lemon comes up with it, back and out, guarded closely by Justin Wilkerson. Right on the edge of the logo, far side. Elijah Guzman loses it, Owen Coffey comes up. I think Owen's got a minute to left. Owen One looks a little bit left uh, in this game. Oh, and that's gonna oh, be a foul. foul called on Brian Stoutmeister. John, Owen looks a little passive. He keeps, uh, you know, I think if you're Owen, you got to realize that you are the bull on your team now, and you, yeah. you got to carry your team to victory here. But I, I think the ball movement maybe was the option there. You got a minute left. Yeah, they definitely wasted down about 30 seconds yeah, there. Yeah, which is good. We are under a minute, 58.7 seconds left, 38 to 35. The blue team has a three-point lead. And we're going to get, looks like, an illegal screen. Wow. And that's the opportunity Joe Calling needed to get the ball back there. Down three. John, you got a minute here. If you're Joe, what are you thinking? You taking a quick three, taking a two, get back to play defense? Man, I would love if I were Joe, I mean I would love a pick and roll right here. Yeah. You know, I mean, just to give me give me an option, top of the key. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh man. To take that. Oh, and Owen Coffee, there he is. 
What have we been saying all game, John? He's not going to let it happen. I called this early, and it's not over yet. But Owen right there. He's trying to steal this game. We need to go. We need to go. Come on, Brian. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. And we're going to have a moving screen. Man, again. John, it looks like we don't know how to play basketball right now. I promise we do. This is just blue-white game jitters here. Keep moving on these screens. Yeah. Some explanation here from the referee to Coach Woosler. Getting it all figured out. Ball's inbounded to Elijah Guzman. Swings it ahead. Oh, tough pass there to Josh Perez. He's got guys open. They have numbers, and they're going to slow it up. It yeah, that's smart. Slow it up. Take some time off that clock. You're up five between Jaden, Elijah, Josh Perez, and Owen. And that'll be a foul called on Judson Wilkerson. And that'll send Jaden Lemons to the line to shoot one and one. Boy, look at this foul differential. Seven one. That's something. That's that's striking. You know, you don't yeah. normally see a seven one foul count. But. Yeah. Josh, I, I'm surprised by the the result of this game here. I am I am too. I thought the white was gonna have him, but blue has proved me wrong. Wow. And really, Josh, I've been impressed. I think player of the game has got to go to Owen Coffey, leading this blue yeah. team to victory, really just kind of willing his way to win, ripping down rebounds both on the offensive end and the defensive end, putbacks, yeah. scrappy. I mean, multiple times, diving on the floor. Man, I'm proud. Owen Coffey, player of the game tonight. Oh, and Judson Wilkerson. And Judson said, not so quick. <laughs> I'm going to get one more three into my stat sheet here before the game ends. I don't know, John, 5.6.5 seconds. It'd be real tough. I'm sorry, four-point game. I can do math sometimes. <laughs> 6.5 seconds left. This is going to be a tough one to win. You've got to foul immediately if you don't get the steal. Oh, yeah, time's just ticking. This one's over. Good game. Thanks again for joining us, for watching with us all the way to the end. Yeah. We will see you on Friday here on Ham Baptist Athletics, Ham Baptist Schools, here with HBTV. Thanks again for watching. My name is John Woosley and Josh Conger signing out.